breakfast on the first morning, I made some oatmeal. It's a great source of carbohydrates and fiber, so it's going to keep you full for a long time. And I just topped it off with some banana, apple, and almond butter. While I edited, I snacked on some strawberries and blackberries. For lunch, I made a little rice bowl that I topped with cucumber and avocado. And of course, you can't forget the sriracha. I'm also using this rice seasoning with dry seaweed and sesame seeds for extra flavoring. You guys know that I love my matcha lattes, but they're like $6 here in New York, so I've been trying to make them more at home. All you need to do is whisk your matcha powder in some boiling water until there are no chunks. Next, add your milk of choice. I like to use either oat or almond milk. And you don't have to do this, but I was just super extra and got a milk frother to thicken up my latte. For dinner, I made the shrimp pasta dish by first boiling some pasta. Then in a pan, I used this vegan butter to cook some frozen shrimp and arugula. Then I added some garlic, tossed in the pasta, and added some butter for extra flavoring. And for seasoning, I used oregano and chili flakes. And for dessert, I'm having this brown sugar boba ice cream while I watch the last episode of Crash Landing on You. <sighs> so sad. Okay, so I admit I didn't have breakfast that day, which I know is bad, but I did snack on some shrimp chips and lemon tea that my friend Lenny brought over. For lunch, I made Lenny and I my new go-to salad. I showed this in my last What I Eat in a Day video. All you need is nori, salad greens, carrots, cucumber, avocado, kimchi, the star of the show, and a fried egg, which is optional. For dressing, I used sesame oil and the everything but the bagel seasoning. This has been my favorite salad to make lately, and I just love how quick and easy it is. So I made my favorite kimchi salad for Lenny. Hey, so Let, excited. Let's see what she thinks. Okay. She doesn't even like kimchi, so. I'll grab a little bit of everything. Some cucumber, some of this. What do mm. you think? Mmm. So good. Mm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Ooh. It's really good. Wow, it is really good. Yeah. And it's just sesame oil. Yeah, just sesame oil. Whoa. See, proof that it's good. <laughs> so good. Yeah, everyone needs to try this. This is so bomb. I paid her to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
dinner, Lenny brought over the Shin Light Ramen to try. It's supposed to be healthier because it's air fried, so it has fewer calories and I think less sodium. I don't know, it was pretty good and it tastes pretty similar to the regular Shin. somewhere and it led to all this chaos and now I'm just I'm just terrified that it's gonna happen again. I'm trying to put a good face on a, well this, <laughs> this face that I'm relentlessly fun. I keep thinking when are they gonna stop being fun? And the answer yeah, is okay Eleanor reminder we switched to a rope. Guys, whose dog is that? Whose dog is that? <laughs> See, this is <gasps> After Lenny left, I just continued to watch The Good Place while I ate some mango mochi. So after my workout, I basically just threw all of my hard work down the drain by getting this donut, but I've been craving donuts for the past couple of days, so I just gave in, and honestly, it was so good. No regrets. On my way home, I got this spicy tuna kimbap from this place called Emo in K-Town, and it was really good. I definitely recommend it, and you know, I'm just trying to support the small businesses during this time. So it's nighttime now, even though it doesn't exactly look like it. Bless daylight savings, but it's about 6:30 right now, and I'm getting pretty hungry. So I'm going to be making these beef bulgogi bowls from HelloFresh, who I've partnered up with for this video. You guys know that I love HelloFresh. It's seriously like the best thing ever. They are America's number one meal kit delivery service. Everything just comes right to your door in an insulated box, and all of their recipes take about like 20 to 30 minutes to make. It's really great for people who either don't like or don't have time to cook and go grocery shopping and I feel like they have something for everyone. They have low calorie, vegetarian, and family friendly plans. Since I am just one person, I am on the regular plan for two people and I usually just share the other meal with either my boyfriend or I just save it for lunch the next day. Again, everything is pre-portioned so there's no waste which I love because sometimes I find that I end up buying too many groceries that I'm unable to finish on my own. They're also really fun flexible to fit with your lifestyle so you can easily change your delivery day. I know I had to change mine when I was in Miami and it was no problem at all. Alright, let's get cooking. Wow, this is so good.
If you guys would like to try out HelloFresh for yourself, then you can go to HelloFresh.com and enter my code ZOEYNOTZOE10 to get 10 free meals, including free shipping. <sighs> oh my god, guys. This meal is seriously so bomb. So again, if you guys would like to get 10 free meals, including free shipping, then just go to HelloFresh.com and enter my promo code ZOEYNOTZOE10. And since I felt like I ate pretty unhealthy that day, I decided to make a green smoothie for dessert. I used spinach, strawberries, mango, oat milk, and chia seeds. For breakfast, I decided to make two hard-boiled eggs. I felt like having avocado, so I mashed them on this Dave's Killer Bagel, and I seasoned it with the everything but the bagel and chili flakes. For lunch, I made my same go-to salad, only I swapped out the seaweed, and instead of a fried egg, I topped the salad with a quinoa burger from Trader Joe's. After lunch, I was craving something sweet, so I had another one of these boba ice cream popsicles. I'm telling you guys, these are so, so good. For dinner, I wasn't too hungry and was feeling pretty lazy, so I just made one of my go-tos, an udon stir-fry. I've shown you guys how I made this so many times in my previous video, so I'll spare you the time. I love stir-fries because not only do they taste super good, but they're also insanely quick and easy to make. I got a late start to my day because I was in bed watching TikToks. So for breakfast, I just had a bagel with cream cheese and some strawberries. Thank you. 
on what to make, so I just made some kimchi fried rice. A classic. having my favorite coconut smoothie from Trader Joe's. So I actually went out for dinner that night. It was Lenny's birthday dinner and we went to Tonchen, our favorite ramen place in the city. For dessert, we got their matcha shaved ice and oh my god guys, the cream. The cream is what makes it. <sighs> I'm literally like drooling as I watch this. 